Right, mate, we're back again. Uh, that must mean we won yesterday. Because otherwise we wouldn't have been on here today. Right. So, yeah, we'll get on to that in a minute, though. Yeah. Talk to us, talk to Liverpool at the door. <laughs> um, so, yeah, disappointing with Liverpool. We can put a little under arm there, didn't we? Give, give them a bit of banter, and we got absolutely nothing back, which was disappointing. <laughs> I thought we might have got some off someone, uh, but they're obviously too professional to play, at the end. It's disappointing, and thought it was going to get a bit too much going there, but yeah, yeah. didn't want to know, which is sad. I'm sure they're saving it, and they, they probably had it on yeah, yesterday, right. clicked, and when it was half time and three all, they was going, Should we send it now, lad? Should we send it now? Save to draft, save to draft. Yeah, delete that, lads, <laughs> delete that. I'll keep that for a couple of weeks, you can keep that one. Um, but yeah, a bit disappointed we didn't get any going there. Did get a bit of um, Dawson. Dorset, you said you clicked. You got a bit, didn't you? You got a Dorset, we're getting into him, aren't they? He's saying I fell for the. And I've just. I, 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 we've just been speaking about it, weren't they? It won. I didn't. Uh, so I got you with an April Fools. Got me with the April Fools with this guy. Uh, oh, it just said he'd, he'd quit. And I honestly thought when I read it, he'd quit because Dorset was shit. And that was, to be honest, I didn't think it was an April Fools gag. And that's what my honest opinion was. Um, so you did actually get me with a. April's Fool's <laughs> but ah. <laughs> Very <Right, Dawson. laughs> Started to a now, yeah. Um, so yeah, but they've been, um, yeah. they're doing well out there, I think they've, they've bombed it, haven't they, in the playoffs? Yeah, they're, 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 uh, well, to be honest, I've just been in discussion with my aunt told you this, but, uh, uh, I'm, so, I'm so far behind this stuff, I've got loads to sort out. Uh, uh, Dorset, yeah, I've just been on with it. He's, he's, he's looking at could we potentially change the format for next season because I think what he's saying is he's qualifying region, he smashed it, and then he's coming to obviously the big league, which is for promotion, and he's, he's not at the level, so he wants them competitive games more often to get him to the level so they can get more. Do you know what I mean? But the format we said we were going to go with, with the league, is uh, more competitive fixtures uh, with limited travel and the minute you start adding all the better teams together it's there's it more travel and then that's when you get the problems with teams not wanting to if you just the best so thing I could suggest win tier 3 and then you'll get into tier 2 well yeah but he's, he's easy he, he thinks he, yeah what he's saying is you can't get to, to he, he can't win tier 3 unless he gets and practice against the better teams, that's what he said. Yeah. So, uh, it so sounds like excuses to me, Dorset. <laughs> excuses. <laughs> so, but I get it, like I said, but we've, we've had this discussion. I, I, what I just said to him is we've had this, we had a north and a south, didn't we? Yeah. And all that happened is Poulton got smashed, Chester got smashed, and that's why they don't exist anymore. Well, they won't travel. No, they won't travel because they won't travel to get smashed. No. But they play in a regional competition and get smashed because they're not travelling that far. They'll travel from their house or whatever. Yeah. So they want the keep. I said there. Uh, I think Chester would love to put a team in it if it was just in the northwest, but that's not happening. So. But uh, we'll get back yeah. on to the, the. I think the final. I think I'm safe to say that the fans all wanted me. No. After last year's, this, this isn't confirmed, but I heard it was the game of the season last year. Our final against Ken was voted the game of the season. Yeah. Like fight of the year, we was voted game of the season. So the fans all wanted it, and they've got what they asked for. Okay. We did the job, didn't we? We're three all, very scrappy. Not great first half, second half better. Bit better, well, it'd be better. Than me. Could be much worse than the best. <laughs> but the first half was alright. I've been been a bit harsh. It was alright. It was it won't create. It didn't look like it didn't look like the Genesis made that game. But it was alright. It was alright. We did a job. We got through six four. Somebody give two ten minute penalties away. Is that all the scored for? Did the score ball for that? Nah. Well, I'm glad you mentioned it, mate. Cause the first one. Jordan for Scotland saved it. He did a good save. And the second one was probably worse, the worst that he probably had ever seen. Yeah. As he probably oh, no. <laughs> shattered it so hard, nearly hit the corner flag. I don't know what happened, but it was shocking. 
Um, but the, the big news, the big news of the day is we got a 10 metre penalty. I scored. And we actually scored it, didn't we? The first one in probably 20 attempts. Mm. Everyone in the team got a go. Um, I think next in line was Jordan for Scotland. And he's... Yeah. He was next in line, but yeah, we're not cap. Keeper's second. No. Uh, so, so someone said that to me in the, in the crowd actually after the game. I said, why, why didn't Jordan take him? I said, because I know what'll happen. It'll hit the bar and it'll go over our, everyone's head and it'll start bouncing towards the goal and someone will yeah. tap it. That's just how we're looking. It'll be 10 minute pens. So, it will be. So, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, or it'll, you can yeah, take, it'll catch it and. You can take one in the penalty shootout if we get to Kent with the penalty shootout again. But yeah, Kent looks. Ken looked all right, didn't he? Again, and again, they looked all right, but I don't know what happened with Manchester. I think they've they've gone and put out. Well, I've talked to someone in the crowd and they said they've, they've lost a few players to uni. They had a few cut tired and a few injured. Yeah, and he's brought in he's brought in the young lads, the sixteen year olds. He's probably chucked him in the deep end, and he was weird. Yeah, not bad choice, I don't think. Nah, I, and he was just a bit too much for him, I think. Yeah. A bit too much, but did alright. I thought did alright. Second half, bit better. They went fly. Did they? At yeah, nine two down, they went to, decided to go fly at nine two. Oh, it's weird because is that what that kid was doing on Brian? He put a green top on and he had a, had a bit of tape hanging off his back. Is that was that is that when they went? Is that? When, I, I think that. I couldn't wake up if he was eighteen or eleven. I, I, I think that. I think someone did. Uh, I think Rolf Harris was on the sideline with a bit. Of, Sticky tape and blunt Peter. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll sort your I'll sort your shit out. Yeah, and some sort of fair with the Manchester bench. What about all those sixteen-year-olds? <laughs> yeah, Rolf. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll stick with the blunt Peter. Let it out, Rolf. There. I don't think we'll have to say on this channel, have we? No. But yeah, so it looked it looked very blue Peter-esque. Did the uh, I don't think Manchester was really prepared to go for that. I think Yang yeah, just went like that off his wrist and just stuck <laughs> it on his back. That'll do, that'll do. Um, so yeah, was, our game was all right. We didn't loads to talk about. Was a couple of which I will mention. Um, are we getting on to, to ref watch already? And, uh, well, are you finished talking about our game? Yeah, well, um, I've, like I said, yeah. Sk Skelly, I will get again. Skelly, my match was yesterday. I thought he was really good yesterday, one of his better games. Again, Mr. Kitson scored two. In the semi-final. Semi's good. You can watch him if you can turn up, if you can bother to turn up for the finals. <coughs> you know, uh, I'm sure we'll watch the any of the England representatives there. So they'll be all be busy or not in the budget to come. Um, we'll be there. We'll be there. So yeah, it'd be good to if you actually come and saw him live as well and actually spoke to him and tell him what he could improve on, give him a few pointers on the day. But yeah, he, he played well. I, I, I think that's it. We all did. It was all all right. It was all on... Six sevens, not. Mm. Did score one of my favourite goals, not the Skelly goal, but my favourite goal just for the, the regular viewers. You can't, you know, it doesn't matter how long the pitch is, you can make it as long as you want, mate. Jordan, out his hands, fans clacky, keeper in no man's land. Good night, son, little mob, goodbye, flicked it past him. Yeah. Like I said, if the pitch is 34 metres or it's, that's the longest 40 metres. If you, if you want to go along, you can go along. The keepers can throw it full on for it. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> it barely don't matter. Whether you go 30 or 40, it doesn't matter, does it? We can still hit the pivot, yeah. whatever. And the keeper still, like many have done in the past, but did nothing, didn't neither come, bagged it. You just, yeah, yeah flicked it past him, good night. But yeah, we're letting a couple not happy really at our time, was we? A couple of bad goals on our part there, probably think they were good goals, but not really happy with a couple of them. But we, it's all right. It was, like I said, not our greatest performance, but it, it, sometimes you've just got to get job done, haven't you? Yeah. Get the job done, get to the final. But I think it just shows we need, it, we need to improve. The, the, the squad we've got now, maybe I'll upset our squad here, but for us, for us to do any good in tier one next year, we must add three, probably three players to the squad. We can't go into to games with, with seven players. We've got to go with a decent squad with a bit, with some a little bit better quality as well for us to have half a chance of survival. Yeah. I think if we go up now with what we've got, we're probably in the bottom three. 
No, no, no. You said this earlier. I don't know why I say bottom three. The if we go up now, if we, if we go up now, we're bottom. We cannot keep all of the ball. Uh, uh, well, nah. And all that means is you defend it, and we've got a squad of seven. So <laughs> it'd be it's, tough. So no, no, it, it it'd be ridiculously tough. It'd be tough, but I think there's a couple of teams in there who are not much better than us. But we, you might. Be I, dis- I, 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 I said this to the lads yesterday. I, I, I disagree with you. I, I think I think in possession we're nowhere near anyone in T1. No, probably not. But defensively we're not bad. We're not bad. Not bad. Is that is that good enough? So we're shit in possession and we're not bad in defence. <laughs> is that? <laughs> is that? And I, 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 I said this to the last time. I put a positive spin on it. <laughs> and like I said, it's, it's, it's not. not it's not. Because it's, it's, uh, we watched the game after, didn't we? Genesis v Maidenhead. And, and what Maidenhead are doing, I, was, I said to our last was that there's nothing that Maidenhead are doing that we couldn't do. No. But we either refuse to do it or we... we, 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 we we're worried about the consequences when it doesn't come yeah. off or but we, we, we look scared at times and we cannot keep the ball <laughs> the, the comment at the end was oh, do you see us keep the ball for, for, for we kept the ball we all we for, for 40 seconds and I'll go back to that uh, uh, Bolton clip <gasps> we were talking about the Bolton clip so everyone okay, okay, put your fingers in your ears <laughs> it's going to upset you now no, I'm not going to upset because I see this all the time. I saw some of uh, Liam Andrews put some at uh, uh, one of his turn up and play sessions. So if you watch passages of play and you go, look how well they keep the ball, hmm. rewind it, watch it again, but just watch the defence. And where Loughborough, how much pressure did Loughborough put on Bolton to try and win that ball? Yes, what Bolton were doing was brilliant, but if Loughborough were put full on, full press, trying to win that ball, yeah. and we're hesitant like I think we are at times, they don't allow Bolton to do that. But yeah. I think when, when you watch some of these passages as a player, it's more about can we can we push him backwards or can we force a mistake? And Bolton are good enough to not make that mistake. So you make 30, 40 passes with good movement and good little blocks and stuff like that. But is anyone actually trying to get? No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, that, and, that, and that's and that's and we we did that for forty seconds. But then I go, but did Southampton actually? But what did Southampton do to get that ball off us for 40 seconds? Yeah. It was more, more like a Spain clip where everyone's 100 mile an hour well, and people were trying to nick it. We literally kept the ball because Southampton and didn't do it. I say it all the time, when people are doing that generic, I play it, I run yeah. forward, I pass it back across, I run forward, I pass it back across, and it's just going like that. Yeah. And where sometimes I have to go, yeah, I think. You, yeah. You're going side to side, not doing a thing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's weird because the goal I scored on my head from that. 40 meter throw from Jordan. I tried to nick the ball, didn't I? Off the, because I've read yeah. the pass going across, I've read it, I thought. Yeah, he just from missed 18 it. 18 meters wide, I've seen he's looked, he's now up to the ball, he's going to play it, so I've gone. I took the ball forward and he's just got his toe there and knocked it past me. So it, they've gone through and I'm like, I'm out, I'm out of shape now because I've gambled. So I've just, I've just carried on walking forward. John's fortunately not conceded and con- caught it and he's thrown to me because I'm 1v1 with a keeper. But it was the fact that I'd made that attempt to gamble and try yeah. and put pressure on him in the ball, which is a, a massive risk. And when I watched that Loughborough clip, Loughborough playing it safe and just going, well, I'll get close enough, but I'm not getting close enough where you can do me. And I went too close. Do you know what I mean? Taking that gamble. So, like I said, I'm not criticising that ball clip. Everything they did was amazing, but I just... If you watch stuff back and go, what what is the defence actually doing? Right. Are they are they putting enough pressure on them? Are they making this look just pass it and they're just happy to let you? So they're getting there where they go. Now now we need to pressure you. Yeah yeah, and that's so so yeah. Well that, that's 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 my opinion on that. But yeah, I just I, w- I was talking to Rich Ox after the game and he was like, oh well done. Like, oh, I'm still not satisfied. Like I just mm. but I don't want to do. I think what I said to Rich was. You have a period, you have, you have certain periods where you have to win, but you're learning. Because what you can't do is win, 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 get to a point, and then go, right, we're in tier one, what we're going to do? Oh, do you know what I wish we did? I wish we learned all this last year. Oh, everything that we need to be ready for <coughs> that, we, we needed to learn this over six months period, because ne- what will happen is, bang, we're going to have to do this, and you, you're learning while you're losing. And that's not the best environment to. No, <laughs> that's not the best environment. But if you look where we was after that big 
the Warners. Yeah, yeah. When we all kicked off in the Warners that time. Yeah. From where we was there to where we are now, you can see a steady improvement, but it's not great, don't you? Defensively, yes. I think we've changed from diamond to. Yeah, press. Man to, man to man. Yeah, so I think defensively, yes. We're better on set pieces, yes. In possession, no. I'm not having it. I'm not, I'm not having I think better in possession. I think it's a bit better. Okay. I, I, I think that, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't think the crash don't like that. I, don't, but I, think I, it's don't, I, don't, I don't think us players do anything different to what we did there. If you look at the individuals, if you look at the individuals, are they better? Do they do anything different to what they did there? I, I, I don't, don't think, I, I don't think, I'm not criticising our players, I just think we're I, just the same. I don't think we hit the pivot as much now as we used to. Potentially, but we just give it to another player and we lose it. Someone else will see it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Don't give all those secrets to anyway. <laughs> I know, I know, I just, I can say, I, I say it to like, and I didn't want to say, oh, you forced me to say something, you know, and it was like, yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't, I just. I don't want to get to the end of the season, we lose the cup final, lose the league, and you're like, I should have said something. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I think the lads understand where it's coming from, and I think the lads need to know you say it yourself. You're not criticising them, you're criticising the full team, that includes I, me and you. Including myself. So what, what I said after the Liverpool game, which is, I did, is, next game, I'm just going to get all of it and play it back. And you was going, like, 1v1, I was like, no, I'm just playing, I'm just keeping, what I said about cooking, I've just tried to get the basics right. Mm. Just can I get hold of that ball and give it to someone else? Get, rather than just trying to spin every time, or can I flick it with my right shoe with my left? Can I, can I, do you know what I mean? It was more, can I just get hold of this ball for one game and give us a plan? Give us a platform, do you know what I mean? So, but I, but like I say, when I talk to that, I'm not, I'm not talking as if I, I'm doing everything right. I'm my own biggest, biggest critic. I can't. I'm, I'm the first to say I'm shit, and I'll just walk off and say, get someone on. Don't <laughs> I'm crap, do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, I, I just want us to be better, and that's what I said to like, like we can all be brilliant. We, we turned it around second half. It was better, wasn't it? Yeah, we got forty seconds. It's just like I, 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 I can't accept. Mediocrity. It's just we, we we need to we need to learn and we need to learn fast. So yeah, I, I get it. I get it. And that's I get it. it. But like I said, speaking of, of of Bolton, though, I have had a few nibbles, mate. A few nibbles with the. Um, I keep praising Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been a few backs up here when I say Manchester are the best futsal team. Is that what you uh, said? I don't. I don't know. I, I think I said they're the best. Did I say the best foot sound team? No. I don't. I don't. You said, you, your words were, I'll try and find it, but I'm sure your words were, I think Manchester play the best foot sound. Right. I, yeah. And I yesterday, see, I, I, and I got a text yesterday saying, I hope you don't still think that after watching, because <laughs> they, they weren't great yesterday, Manchester. Yeah. Uh, and after yesterday's, I'll take it all back. But no, they have been good up to now. I don't think they're the best team. I think the best team. Mm, who's the best team in our league we've played? <laughs> the most frustrating one for us is Liverpool, but they're nowhere near the best team. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that the Bolton is still up there. Birmingham, I don't know, maybe it's, on the day. It's just styles, isn't it? I don't know. I, I just thought the way Manchester played, it was I, I quite Yeah, I don't think you. Yeah, I, I think we said, obviously, Bolton have got better individuals than Manchester, but you, you were talking about how they play, what they do, and. Yeah. But, I don't know. But yeah, it did upset you. I didn't mean to on air, like... But yeah, so, so you're changing your mind off that squad that they put together <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so, so, so who do you think plays the best football? So Manchester, <laughs> Manchester. Let's move on, mate, anyhow. Yeah. You brought it up! Go on, Manchester. <laughs> like I said, I know I don't upset anyone. I know I've had a couple of nibbles on it, I think. I'm not, I'm not trying to upset anyone. And, um, yeah, I should raise the same thing. We're we'll playing Bolton in a couple of weeks as well. That was not... No doubt they'll uh, be all red up for us, but whatever. No. Yeah, I did, if, if I'm upset, you do, like, do like every week. I get upset, yeah. Uh, week. I've got about to upset at some big timers now, though. Go on. So we're on Ref Watch, mate. We're on Ref Watch already. Ref Watch. Right. So yesterday we had, who was our referee? Oli, o- Oliver? Oli Ballinger. Oli Ballinger. Um, I'm going to have to refer to him as Massive Tar. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bull big time straight away. <laughs> it's massive time. <laughs> I should be able to say this because we'll get him again and he'll be out. He'll be, I've got him now, we can get any more massive time. Cool. What's, what's, cool. what's, cool. what's more than massive time? Is there any more? Uh, um, and I'll, I'll back this up. So I just thought, 
There was a couple of instances in the game. First one, it was after, after about two minutes and someone launched Kino in the air. And I just thought, wow, what a... Sh it absolutely sent him flying. Two minutes in. So to me, you've got two options there. You either book him, or as you'll have seen many a time, Captain, get here. Mate, no more. Everyone's seen it. Bang, your next one, full teams, yeah, I don't care how many, what we're in. And it's a public display of... And it all, it all is... Um, I shouted to her, and he comes off her. Yeah, no, uh, uh, mm. don't really. He maybe don't like the way I speak. I will tell you, I, 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 I will public stare. Sometimes I overstep, I'm a bit of a bell end. Which I'll say it now. Um, but yeah, I didn't like the way he read the sports yet. Very, very abrupt. And you just, you just, right, no, I'm happy with that. That's the challenge that I'm happy with. That's the level. Oh, wow. So you can launch people in the air today when that's the levels of yellow cards. Um, he, did, he, did, he got some hype. It, I've never seen it. Some hype. I've never seen someone go up in the air as much. I wish we had that on camera because I've put the clip in now. And the only reason he didn't book him for me was two minutes in. Um, did they do a check on you? I didn't. Why well, I went in the tunnel? Did they ask you for jewelry? I was looking. They didn't ask. I was looking there. Didn't ask for change. Mm, do we check? Should be asking. Should be telling them. Um, so yeah, so after that, he's like, no, I'm happy with that. That's the challenge that I'm happy with today. So it was like, oh wow, so you are letting loads of physical. So, but there was a, then, so that went on. So I kind of shut up, then you kind of know where you are. Whatever ref, if you want to be like that, you'll be, and I'll be like I am, whatever. But the one that alarmed me was, I don't know if you got knocked into the wall. It, I, I, it, 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 lost, I lost balance. I don't want to follow anything. No, I, want to, I just lost balance and I was going backwards and I was trying to stay on my feet. And do you know when you're getting lower and lower and you're trying to stand yeah. up and I just kept going. But, back. but you've slid into the wall with force. I didn't, I didn't yeah. I, you I, come I, off the court, I, I, I could say there was no foul, I said with the foul here. Yeah. And you've come off the court and smacked the wall. Well, just, just so you know, I hit it with some force because I've been to that youth club today, sat in the car. I didn't sleep last night because of my pain in the back. And I've stood up all day. I, tried, I sat down for the last one because some kids decided to let the old man sit down. But uh, but yeah, I'm, so I must have it was some force in my back. It's my in like it's my lower back where I get which is attached to my hamstring. It's my like it's like my top back where I hit it. Uh, and so so that I think the keeper got the ball, they caught the ball or whatever. And the player don't say they want to wear. I haven't got them out. Uh, they want to wear. With that, I'm like you're just launching the wall, just going to hit heap on the floor in the wall. I'm asking the ref, ref, can I go see him? Because I can't, I've had to step through there, yeah. technical area to get to you. And I think three of their players then instantly come round just to see, because they was quite concerned. I think the manager come round. But the thing is, I don't, obviously, I knew it was my back and it winded me, and that's why I was like, like, I was quite a bit, do you know when you get a bit in shock? Like, like, I don't, I don't try, you're trying to catch your breath and I couldn't, so I was, I was still, it, it heaped against the wall, but. Uh, I know two people at the far corner thought it was my head, obviously because yeah. I had a wall and people are aware of the concerns of if I go into a wall. <laughs> so I don't know if the rest of you, if, if it was well, my I, head. I, 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 don't, so, I don't know what the protocol is, do you have to, it, does it have to 100% be a head injury? Well, no. Oh, right, okay. Well, well, according to him, he said, I can't stop the game because he's not on the pitch. I said, ref, I need to get to him. Yeah. I can't stop the game because he's not on the pitch. So you can't stop the player for a player's safety, or just smacked into a wall because he's not on the pitch, was the comments from him. Yeah. So, total disregard to player's safety of, is he actually all right, is he dead? Has he smacked his head on the wall, is he unconscious? What's he hit? Did not care, followed the play up, did not care. Luckily for us, I think because at that point it was getting a bit, what's going on? I, I, all, their, all their team come to you. I was expecting to stop. And I was, uh, how can I, I was very shocked, the first person I saw, even though it was free, it was free Southampton, it wasn't just one, it was free of them, and, and I think one of the reasons I was shocked is, teams generally think, I dive, I fake, uh, I'm a bell end, don't like me, they're probably happy to see me against the wall, and they could not have been any more. No. Worried, <laughs> but I say, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It was like I was like, no, no, please, thank you. I, I, I'm just winded. I'm just winded. Do you know what I mean? I'm just winded. But thank you, thank you. And then I was like, do you know what? And also, I think 
I think these, how can I say this without sounding, because we'll come on to this homegrown thing. I think there's a perception that these teams are very much, that they have their own, they're very passionate and it's all about their team and stuff like that. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting so much, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to be like that, so like worried about me. Yeah, there was, do you know what I mean? It was, I think there was a general, when I got, finally got over to you, there was yeah. a general concern from yeah. all their players and, and their manager that he was, he was done. Yeah. I think people just thought, it, it just, it, the referee was just, they had the ball in their, in their goal area, so there was no, he could have just stopped the game and gone, I'm, I can't, I'm not letting this go. Yeah. But he had to be jobs with, I'm playing on, he's off the pitch, I can't stop the game. I'm asking the third official, timekeeper, so can't go across. So how, how long can the ball stay in play before someone decides that the game has to be stopped? Well, according to Jobsworth, he can keep it playing. Oh. And, and I'll get to, because he had to keep the game going. And no, he never. He could have stopped the game at any point and gone, Shh, no, I, I can't let this. So what, how, how did the game stop? Because they, the they had to keep the ball out because we made such a fuss that they was like, what's going on? Yeah. And they kicked the ball out. Fair play and the to family that. kicked the ball out. Fair play to that. The, th- the timekeeper won't let me go across. Won't let me, you have to think, remember this, because where I'm going. Won't let me go across. No, no, no. But what, at what point did he go? Dave, get across. I don't, I don't know what's up with him. So to me, I just thought, you played that to the letter of the law, then, big man. If that's how you want to be, and you want to play it to the letter of the law, which is fine. Southampton player injured on the pitch. Yeah. He was in the centre circle, their physio manager, not invited on, walked onto the pitch to start dealing with him. So what's the process of? I, I was told, because I asked this, so, so I banned you from coming on the pitch, haven't I? Uh, because of what's happened in previous games. And, and, and the reason for that was, you shouldn't have to be dealing with everything. No. So we've got, we. If, 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 if someone's going down ahead, you shouldn't have to be frustrated with the challenge whilst you've also got to count for the player. So we got someone in who uh, is qualified, he's done his uh, first aid, he's done his concussion, he's done, he's done all these courses, he's got, he's got all the gear. Uh, you would have seen him on the bench, he gives all the last, lads uh, massages and stuff like that. So, but he couldn't make it last week, he couldn't make it up yesterday. So typically, uh, so we've got someone to deal with that. But I was told, I, I asked the question, at what point can you just come on the pitch if you've got genuine? And it was like, he can't if it comes on, it's a yellow card. So it will go, right, so this is what I was getting at. So I asked, I, I, I'm stood back to the timekeeper who wouldn't let me go to you. Yeah, off the pitch. Off the pitch. I couldn't walk along the sideline, across their technical area to get to you in the heap on the floor, yeah. right? Can't. He walks on the pitch. I said, he ain't been waved on ref, what, what, uh, what are we going to do with him? Sometimes Dave, we can use common sense. <laughs> I, was, I hear this, yeah. Sometimes Dave, you can use common sense. Yeah. Okay, second half mate, I'll go second half with you then. Reese gets absolutely mullered by their goalkeeper. Yeah. Mullered. First thing the referee does, drags the goalkeeper across, starts booking him. Reese is still on the floor, man. Yeah. Still on the floor. No one's been to him. I'm still not allowed to go to him. And he does his bookings and he's doing his stuff, gets him bang yellow, well done referee. And he says, Ref, can I go see him? Ignores me. Ref, can I go to him? No, it's fine, he says. Uh, not one point did he say to Reese during the session. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm now, so I'm dealing with Reese. I'm saying, stay on the floor, wait, wait, wait until he comes up. Yeah. So what is it? What is it? He went, my shoulder, I've landed on my shoulder. So I said, you're going to be okay. And I've turned round, I've, I've, I've got, he's trying to stand up, I'm trying to get to stay down on his knees. Uh, not rolled in a heap, obviously. Uh, and I look over, and the referee is saying to you, "He's okay, he's okay." But he was, he was, he was right there. You, he was not quite ten, ten meters away. Yeah, ten meters away. Uh, so he was ten meters away, and I know it's his shoulder, and I know he needs to be seen to. Yeah. But he didn't know that. So I, I don't know why he said he's okay. When I know that he's at his shoulder, he needed looking at before he got up. It's, yeah, it, it, it turned out it was okay, but he'd landed on his shoulder. And he won't show. Well, the first thing the ref should have done is gone. Wow, what a shot! 
come in, go right, I know it's the keeper who's done it. Yeah. Come across to the player, the player, you're right, you need attention. Mate, yeah, get me across. Dave, get across. Did it happen across? It deals with them. It's weird this because do you know everything you say there? Because I've learned it's I, just standard. I know it's, it's, it's standard stuff. It, uh, and, and he's a FIFA referee. And this is why I'm calling him Massive Town. Because he, he had the preconception of me. And well, this I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. He's got the preconception that I'm a gobshite, I do all this, and I'll shut him down. I'll shut I've seen these refs a million times. I'll shut him. Well, you didn't shut up, have you? You just shut yourself up. Because there's two instances there, you've not dealt with it and you have put player safety nowhere near the top, which should be at the top. No matter what you think of me, player safety is top of the charts no. and you have dealt with it twice. Well, I've had Can a I conversation have... with someone today and they have concerns that our team would be victimised if we managed to get to the top tier because of the way you are on the touchline and the way referees would want to deal with you to prove their... Oh yeah, uh, they need to prove it. And I said, well... That's fine, but it, one, you need to look after the players first. Two, you can't take out one players. No, if you, you take out one, you book him. And if you want to send him off, send him off. That's, that's your badge of honour. I, 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 I wouldn't have had a thing about the referee yesterday. If he'd have gone to that player and launched Kino in the air and just gone, come here, mate, Shh, bang. Not having that today, son. Yeah. And if I'd spoken, he'd have gone, come here, Dave, one more word out of you, mate, and I'm doing it and you're getting done. But I had to have that conversation with him because he wasn't willing to book that player because it was too early. In my opinion, he didn't book him two minutes in and it gives him nowhere to go. Yeah. But like I said, I, I thought it was shocking. From, from a FIFA referee, and the other guy was the Welsh FIFA referee. Yeah, yeah. To, to leave two players in a heat without checking it, because last time we was there, we had the same thing with Jordan. Yeah, and no one seemed to have Nobody let me on. Don't come on, Dave, don't come on. Dave's the physio, it's on the sheet, Dave's the physio. Yeah. Didn't have Dan yesterday, yeah, yeah. so I'm the physio, not allowed on again. So, to me, whatever you're trying to, whatever they was trying to prove yesterday, I, I don't know, but, it, uh, all, it, all it showed was your, your, the, the refereeing was not at the level. No. Not at the level for player safety. He did not care about the safety. All he was bothered game, about was... Game management, I, both fine. No, fine. Not, 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 not really the game fine. I think every LA got booked. I think every... every, every yeah, but then again with the others, he said we could use... And this is, this is where I'll go again with him. This is where um, the, their player daft goes through two or three players, blatant down in the first half. Drags him over, yeah. stops the game, drags him over. Have you ever seen a player being dragged over to referee for diving and not booked? No. Because what's the conversation? That's simulation, that's an automatic, okay. He let him off. What did the third official say to me again? I don't know, but I'm guessing common sense. Common sense, Dave. We can use common sense sometimes. Right. You did a couple of two or three fouls in the, in the second. Not not that, not yellows. Yeah, yeah. Not nowhere near yellow card. Gets you from too many fouls, race too many fouls, I've got to do it. Yeah. What? Use common sense, mate. You're also 30 seconds to go. Common sense out the window, where you fouled him down. I know, I don't know, but common sense, mate. Yeah. No, can't do it. So, like I said, I, I, I thought he was he was trying to stamp his, yeah, I'll shut him out big time. Nice one, mate. Nice one. You did you did a real good job, though. You showed me, um, but you need to maybe apologise for that and race. So what I will say is, like I said, after the first incident, well, because I need to apologise to you as well, because I, I was quite snappy with you earlier, wasn't I? Uh, you, you started talking, so the foul on Kino, you're questioning it. Yeah. You're questioning it, you're going, how has he got ended up? It, like I said, it went high. It went high. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to over-exaggerate, but he, he, he at least went a metre in the air. Which when you put what you have to it, yeah, it's, and, and it's obviously landed with some force. Uh, you're going, you're, you're, you start going to me, uh, what's he saying, that is careless, Rick? I was like, and I went, Dave, don't talk to me, because, and the reason I apologise is I'm very short and snappy, because my concern was, I don't care if he thought it was reckless, careless, we started off like a bag of shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, I didn't want you to start again, targeting the rest when I'll make us any of us. We need to focus on us, and that and that was it. So so to be fair, I said that to you, and you did show. <laughs> but, 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 but like I said, it, won't, it came across a bit like like. But I was just I was just bored of that thingy when it was like I don't. Do you know what? If the refs just crap today, as long as we're good, we'll win this game. And mm -hmm. we were shocking. So the last thing we needed was the refs on our back, and like I said, right. it, maybe like I said, maybe right, maybe wrong. I don't know. Maybe he's. That's the best time 
we've had it because like, it's really high regarded. Uh, mm. A lot of people say he's the number one ref. Uh, yeah, I've heard a few say he's not though. So. But yeah, so so it's uh, it's weird because who uh, uh, was we talking to in the stands yesterday? Nelson. Pete Nelson in the stands won't be. Yeah. You could have a conversation with him. We had t- two or three debates about challenges. Yeah. Speaks to your normal. Don't get in his eye horse. Yeah, but would he? Would has he well, got? A, a, uh, has he got an, an alter ego? No, when he comes we've had him. Yeah. We've had him on, and he's been fan. No, I know, but what I mean is, if you have a sit down chat with Ollie, it might be different to how he's in again. But Pete, I thought Pete was a same. I, I, I think Mark. I think Mark. I think Mark. He. Yeah, he was. He, he has completely. He, I think he's got a different character in, in a game yeah, to what he is when you have a chat with him once a month. No, I don't think Peter, but I think we've had him in the game. Oh, yeah, no, but what I'm saying is, you can't, you can't say you couldn't have a chat with Ollie because you probably, you might, you've, you've never had no. a chat with him. That, that, that's no, what I'm saying. It. But it just seems you're, you're different in the game. So well, you are now. Well, yes, <laughs> yesterday as well though, when you had to about the chat, um, corner comes in. That kid must. Have, well, I shouted, he's, he's cheating. And when I say someone's cheating, I don't go, he's cheating. It, it means he, he jumped two yards. Yes, yeah, so, 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 so we have a corner, and. I can see that I can see the white line, and I'm happy sometimes if they encroach. Yeah, I'm happy sometimes. But if I say start saying to the ref that I want five, I want five, and he's stood two meters away from me, I, I'd expect him to blow who you encroach it. And if the ball's played and he's within five, I'd expect him to get. But he, he, could, all he come in though, didn't he? He, he, come, he, he must have moved in about two meters. Yeah. yeah. And he's, uh, and I'm like, ref is cheating, and he's going, be yeah. careful with that word. Be ca-. I'm like, I don't mean he's. I don't mean he's. I, I, I mean, yeah. we use it all the time here when we say, we come up with something and they'll go, people will cheat because yeah, yeah. they won't do what we want them to do, and they'll yeah. just stand there because he's lazy and he's cheating. Yeah. I don't mean he's cheating, he's bad. Yeah, yeah. But whatever, he didn't know how we, how, how it's it's all cheats. And then he said, if you, if, if you want to know something, just ask me. I went, okay, ref, what, what, why didn't we do something about him encroaching? So yeah, he just runs off on the touchline. But so, so I asked him, I said, what do you want me to do? Just not take it. He went, yes, okay, but you count in. <laughs> like, you count in, so what, do I not take it? And if the player takes it, is that okay? Even though I'm asking for five? What, but to me... He if, went, yeah, pro- probably just don't, don't take it. It's like, okay. But, but if, you, if you take it and he's encroached, I'm sorry, mate. I mean, you've left me nowhere to go, because we are now at a good standard, in the semi final of the cup. So yeah, I can't, bud. But didn't want to deal with it. Nah, didn't want to deal with it. Again, yeah, that, have a go at me. Well done again. But again, it's just a simple yeller. That if you just booked him, I don't know if I said a word. Yeah. But two wrongs don't make a right, I get it. Yeah. But everyone will chuck it on me when you think, I'll look at myself and look how I behave. Will he go away from that game and look how he's behaved? Because I learned my lesson from the Jordan one. Yeah. When I went on and didn't deal with Jordan instantly, I went, it put my hands up and gone, I dealt with that situation so badly. Yeah. And I got that totally wrong, it won't happen again. Yeah. But does anyone else? And I'm up, I'm, I've come on here and open on this and said, yeah, my flaws. Yeah. But I bet when I see him again, he won't go, yeah, I got that wrong, Dave. Sorry about that, Dave. Yeah. And he probably won't. But that's Red Watch. I'll tell you what, there was another one in the second uh, Manchester game. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll have to put this clip on because. I, I don't know. <laughs> he looks in a bad way this lad. Yeah, so uh I can't think who it was. Was it Manchester? It was Manchester, yeah, against Kent, and he set that shot back and he shot on him. Oh, right, I thought he was on about the So no, that's we'll yeah, get onto that yeah, one as well. Okay. Yeah, so someone from Kent had a shot and the uh, from their halfway line. Yeah. And so, and the, the the top of the wire just ran out. Ran out to go block it. Uh, we'll have this on with it. Just put it. Uh, ran out to block it. It's hit him in the arm. I, I also thought it hit him in the neck. Just yeah. he, he, he's, he's gone down instantly. Yeah. And it's like he's in pain. He's in pain. And he's over his arm. And he's, he's, he's immediately walked off. Like ran well, off. It, it, it was. Yeah. It was. He, he, was he, he, he didn't want to be on that. On that. No. Goal. And he went to the timekeeper's table. Then he yeah, was walking. Walking. And the ref said, "I can't. I can't, I can't stop it. It's not an head injury." Oh my god. This this lad must have been what 16, 17? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the game's done, it's 9-2 or 9-1. Yeah, yeah. And he's saying, I can't stop the game because it's not an injury. And this poor lad was, he just wandered off to the tank, holding his arm, you could see he was. Yeah, yeah. I, if he had broke it, I'd be see it. He was screaming, wasn't he? Was yeah. Like quite loud, wasn't he? Um, and then he went to his bench and he could, he, he walked off and he, could, he yeah, had to get off the door. Yeah, yeah. And 
I'd like to know if he wants it, it, but he looks in some distress. And referees, mark off. You're saying you can't stop the game for that. Sort yourselves out. That was shocking, that. Stop the game, man. At least fucking front ball. <laughs> Deliberate <Deliberate-out ball. laughs> well, I was surprised. Give me your son before you go to the hospital. <laughs> There's a yellow. Um, but yeah, it was, I just thought, what are you doing? Lads, lads, lads. If you, if, if, the timekeeper's telling me to use common sense. Mark, play your safety again. You could see he was not faking, he was in so much distress. Yeah, yeah. Stop the game. The ball's on the halfway line. The game, the game was over. But that's all irrelevant. Surely his arm got to cut. I know people fake it and all this, but geez. Would you have stopped it if you thought he'd hit him in the nudges? Uh, probably, probably not. So, could, could it be said that they thought that as well? Not the way he walked on to that fact. Because it could, that's after two seconds, seconds, you could instantly see. If it's it's it is your nudge, nudges, you still have the floor. You go down, down it's like, oh! He was, he was, like he, I said, he didn't walk onto his bench, he was just walking, he was just walking, wasn't he? I he think he, I think he was in shock. Yeah, yeah. Because there's something had gone seriously wrong with his arm. Yeah. And he was in shock. I mean, Ron Manchester might say, no, he's fine. No, but I hope he is fine. I'm sure, I'm sure they said he's, did it say he's in cast or he's getting in cast? I'm sure. Um, but it, I, I thought he instantly went into shock. Yeah. And the referees did not deal with it. I did not even seem bothered. Um, they didn't. It was. The, I think they finally stopped the game when he was just walking around the corner, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. They said, "Oh, let's just not let's start the game." So they. Oh wow. Um, but again, boys, no, not. Mm, I just thought it was disgusting. Got to stop the game there. All this crap. You can't stop the game. Of course you can. If someone breaks his leg enough, you're not going to play on my because it's an head injury. Yeah. He's he stopped the game. I get it if there's about to score, you've gone around the keeper and something falls off her and it's about to score. If the ball's at the other end of the pitch and there's no danger, yeah. stop it and have a look. I'll let you rant and rave about that, because that's obviously your thing, not mine. Uh, what I will say to, to show the opposite of that is about not stopping the game. The amount of times yesterday we saw fouls being blown for when there was a clear advantage. Oh my god. We can't afford it, we? It, and you was like, just one second, and you would have seen a goal, a goal scoring opportunity if it was just waited mm-hmm. like one second later. And then there was one of those where they gave a foul against us. I don't know, mate, even me. But it seems like 10 seconds after that, or two, did he drop his whistle? It, did it, like, how late was that call? It, it might have been the right call. But it's waited 10 seconds later and I actually put the ball in the net. You scored, yeah. I, I, but and then I, I actually thought he's going to do with for kicking the ball away. It was just the near side. The, this is the problem. Yeah. The foul was on the far side, yeah. and he didn't want to blow it on this side because it had meant the, the refs look bad. Why? If it's a foul, it's a foul. But he's telling him on the comp, blow, 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 and then he finally blow. He's telling him, Mate, you blow, you've seen it blow. Yeah, I've seen it. it. That's what I said. Wow. But it had to be his side, you know, it, it, because again, it's like, no, you yeah, blow it. The other point of having two is you've got different views, isn't it? It's not, well, it's your side to one, go on ref, shouldn't it be? We've got two refs who have two views. But, but it makes him look bad because it was in, in front of him and he's missed it. But so what? Well, he's I, missed it. Yeah, but if, if that ref or that ref blew for a foul, I would go, I would start going, well, which ref give that? I'd be like, he's seen some of that, yeah. Yeah. So you don't. Sometimes it's under your nose and you can't see it because yeah. you're so close. Yeah, blind side or the swan in your way. But if someone sees something clear, but you don't look I thought that was the whole point of it. Not like, but well, you just do that half and I'll do this half. But for once I could hear him and I didn't kick off because I could hear him talking on his time like yeah. And I didn't kick off and just thought, all right, and he went, he, 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 the call was late, but it was right. It was yeah, like, which all right. Fine, yeah. and, I, and I never said a word. I went, yeah. it. But then, like I say, the, the blow and the whistle instantly on fouls, oh, it's just like, some shockers, some absolute. And, but the rest of it, the players are like, slap, it's like, you know what I mean? It's frustration from players, but. It, yeah. Um, an intense ref watch this, isn't it? But the, one, the worst one for me, we had, we had a debate up with it. It was the. See if we can get this clip up. So it was Genesis versus Made Ed. Genesis going through, someone played the ball off and it was bouncing one on one. Genesis player going that way, keeper coming this way. Ball's just outside the area. Yeah. Genesis player gets Genesis, there. But Genesis player was always going to get there first. Yeah, and he does, and he lobs the keeper. Yeah. As he lobs him, keeper launches himself. Yeah. Two feet off the floor, catches him eye. Flat. He catch him with his feet, though, doesn't he? Just to I think it's his knees that yeah, he yeah. hits him with. So he's, he's, he's that eye who catches him with his knees, eye up his leg. Yeah. 
all the rest behind us, which so we're like, wow, get it played back straight away, won't we, on the old ref watch thing, watching it. Again, it, it, was, it was a good one, he was giving his opinion. So, um, I, so I thought, I, <laughs> I thought, I might have got this wrong, I might have completely got me wrong. The ref who was facing Nessie, I thought he was looking at him to, for some. I thought he went top pocket first, then bottled it and went, then, then changed his mind. That's, that's what I, I thought. thought. I thought they were his influence, him or not. Like I said, this is just speculation from where I was sat because I was there. I, 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 I thought he was, he wasn't looking. Well, the it, it, cameras on that side, so you'll see him go for top pocket, right, and then he okay. changes his mind and goes to back pocket. Right. So I thought this is a red. Oh, I, I was. I was the, the reason being is I got caught at St George's by the keeper, and I know the keeper was the last man, and he got done for wiping me out because I touched the ball. But I, and I spoke to Ian Bates about this this morning. I don't think it was. A, I don't think it was a red because of dog so. Because oh, Ian Baines goes, but the, it's, it can't be dog so because the ball's gone behind the goal. Yeah. And I say, yeah, I I'm, I'm not saying it's for dog so. I'm saying yeah. you're right. The ball's gone behind the goal and he's clattered him. To me. So he's late. And, and and how high can you be? So he's how high can you be for it not? It's coming in with force because he's running that way. Yeah. He's two feet off the floor and he catches him on his upper thigh with his knees. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what defence can you put up to say? Yeah, that's reckless. But, yeah, as an outfield player, this is what I said to Ian earlier, as an outfield player, I'm told if both your feet leave the floor, you're out of control. You are. Obviously, there's headers, someone wins the header first and you knock into people, but not free... Oh, if you, if you run towards their forward, as you're a defender, and run towards him, left the floor, and caught him with your knees... As he passes and, it. And he's passed it, but you've knocked it dead. You're off. Yeah. It's not a dog, so you're out of control. Yeah. What control and what force? So the, the force you're using to leap through the air is more than if you just stood still. Yeah. So it must be excessive force must come into it. And you're out of control. So, so you can't really. How can you can't really. Was there a behind the kick when he comes out or not? No, if he's the target, he scores. No, no, but what, what I mean is, because he's out of his area, does it, is he still a goal to be honest as an outfield player? What's he classed as? When he leaves, when he leaves his area, don't know. I, I, the net's unguarded for me, so he's the last one, and he's. I think, I think what he's done is just stop. I'm just going to throw myself at him, and hopefully it'll put him off. Okay, so let's talk about the next one then, because we disagreed with this one as well, didn't we? Well, I think there's a rule change. So again, Genesis going through one on one. There was one there and a player coming just to defend yeah, yeah. He was never catching it. No, no, like, oh yeah, it was 1v1, it was, it was Ribeiro. You've got to look at the player and go, if he rolls in, yeah. is, he, is he 1v1 with the keeper? And he roasted it. He roasted it. He roasted and then the player just wiped him out. With his back leg after the ball has gone past yeah. him. So there's no attempt to play the ball because no. the ball has already gone past him. So I got told three years ago, if you're running for one goal, if you take the player out, it's a yellow card because the keeper's in the net. Yeah. As long as it's not, you don't dart from and, and double foot him from the yeah. back. If you just trip him, him, goal's guarded, then I got told uh, that was, because I was an out player, if someone goes for a wipe him out, yeah. technically I'll wipe him out, yeah. not properly. problem. Yeah. Then I said, right now, don't wipe him out anymore, because if he's going for one goal, the goal's guarded with the goalkeeper, but you make no attempt for the ball, it's a red card. So we had this debate in, with, with, with a couple of refs. Yeah. They said there was a player on the line first, didn't they? Yeah. And when you replay it back, there was no one near. There was one coming, then they went, no, it has to be a 2-1-1. Yeah, it has to be an overload. It has to be an overload. But he was throwing goal on the keeper, and he made no attempt to play the ball. He just wiped him out, and he got a yellow. Now, as far as I'm aware, the laws of the game say red. If I'm wrong, please tell me, because I need to know this for our players. If that is still a yellow card, I'll be coaching our players different. But what I will say, regardless of what you see in a coach our players, one of our players should have wiped out one of their players yesterday for Southampton, uh -huh. and we don't. We don't take the yellow. No. <laughs> Which again, it's not. It's not the art. It's not probably the coaching that people want to wear in football. But you need to know these no, but we'll scenarios. We go. Good. Should we go in at half time uh, three to up with a yellow card? Or should we go in at 3 3 because we've let him go through and score? Yeah, with 15 seconds to go, there's a player running down the wing, you think he, 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 he could do it, he could yeah. do it. Take him out. Yeah. Sorry, take him out. Yeah. And we had cover, it won't like it. Nah, it was just a, it, just a bit of a just one chance of a red. It was a nice little foul, you just clip in, he goes down, and everyone screams and shouts, yeah. and he gets the yellow. But yeah. it, it needs to be done. Some of them need to be done. 
But like I say, referees, if you could inform us, I know they all, I know half the half watch, yeah, half and watch. Maybe not Ollie, you don't remember you. <laughs> we don't want you texting me. But anyone else who watches, Why is that a red or a yellow? Right? Yeah, yeah, well. Well, like I can say, mate, you can't think any worse of me. Because <laughs> I, I haven't said that, all I've said was, he, 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 like I said, he's coming with a preconception, mate. I'm not coming with any, I've never had him before as a ref. I've heard a couple of bits of both what people have been texting me. I, I'm a bit old man, but I thought it was alright as a ref. I just thought his, yeah. his mannerism around the pitch, and the way he talks to you is a bit, mm-hmm. alright. Do you, do you think people like how you talk to them? No. No. <laughs> no, no, what I will say, I will say, what I will say, is you're very light, very loud. The majority of the way you speak to people are questions. I don't like, swear. If you, if you actually watch it back, a lot of them are questions and it's you questioning their decisions. And I think obviously that rubs people the wrong way, but I don't think you ever speak to people inappropriately, unless it's something. Do you know what I mean? You might, you might be a bit more aggressive with your questions. I, 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 I don't think you ever, you, you never once called a ref something or... So what, like, how would that ref react to? So he, he spoke, so I, I spoke and said, right, that is... What, why are we booking him? What's going on? He, right, that's the last time you shit. And he's speaking, that's the last time. And I've gone, that's all right, you referee. I've got everything. He'd have gone, the fuck, you back. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll speak to you when you speak to me. Yeah, yeah. And, and you speak to me as I speak to you. So that's fine. If we're all speaking like that, but I, I'll have to shout and ask, why well, I want that yellow card. You can shout at me and tell you that, that's fine. Yeah. But I'll shout back at you. And we're all on the same fucking wavelength. But it's got to be. Yeah. If he's a FIFA ref, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, I'll tell you what I will say. Uh, mm. What I will say. <coughs> uh, I was questioned whether you meet the qualifications of uh, tier one. Have you got the coaching qualifications? And my response was, Dave did his UA for B before I even met him, before this club even existed. Dave was involved with futsal a long time before a lot of people in this game. But it's I because of credit. It's because I'm a nobody. It's yeah. because I'm a nobody. <laughs> well, you're not now because I'm you're not, not, not everything. People, people. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone's got a preconception here. And one of the first things it was quite funny actually because one of the uh, one of the first people one of the first things someone said about to, to me about you is we need to build Dave's profile. We need to we need to we need people to know who he is and all this lot. And I was like, what are you on about? And naturally, over time, you have built your own profile by being yourself. <laughs> but yes. Uh, I was also then made aware that two coaches are in Tier 1 without the coaching qualifications and they are both doing considerably well. So, yes, you do meet the criteria. You did it, what year did you do it? 2018. 2018. Uh, when was your first involved with Futsal? 2003. <laughs> Before some of you were born. <laughs> so, so, yes you are, yes we're ready. Uh, yeah, so for them that oh, yeah. actually knew it existed in 2003, yeah, we played at the Gem Tech in Hull. Yeah, which and a lot of people are like, Iclac has, yeah. Iclac. On a 40 to 20, I might add. Oh, yeah. On a 40 to 20, yeah. Iclac coming afterwards, and it's 2006 or something, he said. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, for all the black like, sale, all the big timers, and I, yeah, we've done it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I did, did it in 2018. Is it? I thought it was quite funny. The message was on a serious note. Does. I stayed does, 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 uh, does, does Dave have a UA for B? <laughs> and I also have the concussion stuff, I also have all that stuff. Why have I got that? Because you have to. Because someone in the club. You're, you're not allowed to use it. I'm not allowed on the I'm, 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 I'm a physio. <laughs> I am. T- I'm, when Danny. Right, anyway, we need to come off ref watch. Uh, Benny on ref watch, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, so that's enough of um, ref watch. We'll, we'll back. Should we quickly get onto Brooklyn's block blocking? Yes, man. Yeah. It was. Uh, yeah, we'll quickly just touch on that. He gave a couple of boxes there. That just took. Who was it? Which game? Genesis. Yeah, Genesis. Yeah. He's just uh, one of them. Just ran into him with two arms like that. Literally <laughs> <laughs> just ran it in. And he just went no, <laughs> Ricky. Yeah. And then he gave us a little. And then he was like, Way! like he, he obviously knew what was coming because was right behind him. But then he gave us a ruffle shuffle. Then he yeah, got yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. He, he knows the scar. Yeah. yeah, but it's good. It's good to see the uh, band the block. Band the block. Band the block. I'll have to start bringing the t-shirt, so band okay. the block. Band the block. Uh, but yeah, it's, yeah, the refs are now taking note of it, which is really good. Yeah. So there's people getting uh, run into. Yeah. Um, so that was good. What else have we done? Being two. Do you talk about Genesis? 
Yeah, because we'll because we don't need to talk. But we need to talk about. Yeah, we need to talk about. We'll go for it. Yeah, I think we have to. So, 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 so there's been a lot of conversations about how does the sport grow and what happens. So, in the last ten years, I don't, I don't see a lot of change. I know people will be. We've got, we've, yeah, we've got been involved for it for maybe three or four in in a, in a adult capacity. Yeah, I, I don't see any change since we've been here. NFS has formed. Um, you've sorted out the NFL. That seems to sort it out. So that, that they both run all right. Still, nobody knows what futsal is outside the futsal community. If you're not involved in futsal, you don't have a clue what it is. We're probably going to lose TNT, is that pretty much dead in the water now? Because I'm, I'm sure the, the viewing figures will have been shockingly low, because no one's interested. So it's, it's it's how we make stuff interesting, how do we get people involved in the sport, how do we stop, like, a couple of teams yesterday, so Southampton. Well, we played, so we played, we played Southampton and we didn't know, like I said, I said it previously, it's tough to do any analysis on them because we don't know who's going to turn up. We don't know, like, they tend to number 20 yesterday is probably one of the best players I've seen at tier 2 on the ball. Mm. Uh, real quick feet, uh, didn't know which way he was going. Lightning quick, uh, we really struggled to get a grip on him. He dare put a foot on him because he went down, he dived over my foot, I believe. Vincent said it was clear for all that. I, 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 I'm seeing he jumped over me. He put my dangle on my leg there. Uh, very, but, like I said, we did nothing, we knew nothing about him. But it's like you see a team sheet, it's got and it, Christos Summer and Constance and, it, and, it, and it's like it's really tough to get some kind of. Do you know what I mean? I know the names of Vinny, but they, 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 what they do is they don't wear the shirts that have got their name on it. So no. it was players who I thought was playing and it won the different. So, but one of the big things I thought was to help the game was this homegrown status. So the idea is we'd have more homegrown players and not necessarily English but homegrown uh, players so the league was more, had more players that were potentially eligible for England squads and things like that yeah. but we saw two teams yesterday which were heavily foreign influenced yeah. so all the Southampton there was all talking Jack where Jack Yates who was out of boot and sat on our bench yesterday which was nice to see He's not going to be back till December still, uh, but he was going to pop. They're all speaking Portuguese, you know. He knows a bit and stuff like that. And they're all talking Portuguese. So our question, our question is, who's homegrown? How do we know if they're homegrown? What does it mean? How, can you challenge it? Yeah. How how do you provide proof? Do you have to ask for evidence? Does it is it a league problem? Is it a FA problem? Or are we just not bothered? And we spoke, I spoke to an official, I won't name it, but I spoke to an official and he said it's one of the worst rules we could have had because you can't, there's nothing you can do, you can't work off passports. And it was like, yeah, because we, we've got Rinalds who only got his English passport last year. Yeah. And he was, he was... He's been here since he was five. Yeah. So you can't go off passports. There's all, the way prejudice was used, you can't be prejudiced, you can't. And it, it's like, so what, so Southampton won two or three last season. They're probably like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll sort the homegrown out, we'll get some players in, we've got a plan key, we'll do this, etc, etc. Have they? Have they got any youth teams? No. So again, we've got another team, oh yeah, they shocked me yesterday how, how well they played, I can't believe they've only won two games, well, you, 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 you sort of can understand why they've only won two games this season. But again, it's just another team who have got no, in, 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 unless it's proven otherwise, I didn't see a homegrown. What we, what, do you know what I mean? I well, just to say the homegrown now, I think they're saying you have to be, have played in this country for three years under the age of 21. So you could have come across as late as 18, yeah. played three years in this country, and you're still classed as, and then you're classed as homegrown. I don't know how that works, but that's what, yes. it, that's what it means. I'm guessing but, under 21 is still what they're classing as youth. Yeah. Like England under 21, it's not senior, so I'm guessing that's... So if you've been here since you was 10 and you've played in local leagues and that, you're a homegrown player. I don't know, like I said, I don't know how you prove that, I don't, I don't understand, well, I don't understand from, that point, from, you know. From, from what, from what, they get the information I gathered yesterday, when I asked, and this was obviously after we won the game, this wasn't before the game, worrying we was going to lose, it was, 
it's 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 all on clubs to be honest and tick the boxes to say they're homegrown. But they can't check if uh, Christos, for example, this number twenty, has played for Southampton Rangers under twelves. There's no way of there's no way of finding that out unless you've done. Do you know what I mean? So I don't I don't and then obviously Genesis, what a team. <laughs> what a team. But again, you look at their bench and you go I think Mitchell always say that a lot of Brazilian speaking yeah. teams from me can speak yeah. a little bit of it. Portugal, yeah. And he said a lot again a lot of Portuguese being so, so again, I, I'm not against all that, but the way we was going with this was supposed to be It's supposed to be a change. It's, it's supposed to be a change and we need to the way we build our England futsal team and the England is to enforce the three homegrown players. What was it for? Oh, four, sorry, four homegrown players must be included in your squad. I don't know if people were fiddling putting the coach down when it was 70. Yeah, yeah. And, but whatever. So they have to be eligible to play four players. And now it's just a tick box here. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Which, which, which I will say, I don't know if that's the way forward because you look at all over the country and they nationalise these Brazilians, don't they? Yeah. So they bring them over, they play in the country for three or four years and they get them a passport and suddenly they, they can now play for Turkey. Or they can now play yeah, for France. People, people which, which, and that's the way these other countries have sort of cheated their way into getting competitive squads. They're cheating. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, but they've, they've, they've worked their ways to get a competitive squad. But yeah. the model I thought we were going down is to have more homegrown players developing and growing the sport together and maybe having the influences of, of others increasing the, yeah. the, the, the the performance of the games and the, and the levels of the, the competition. But, but, I, like but I, said, yeah. I, I think this is why the game's faltering still, because we still haven't conquered the, we've still got teams instead of clubs. Yeah. And there's still so many teams when you go down the rankings who are just teams. Yeah. Good teams, don't get me wrong, very, very good teams. Yeah, yeah. But you're just a team. You're not helping the futsal world. No. And I think that it's, it, they need to do some sort of system. Rugby League do it really well, and the, and the franchise are probably good for us this year. Time we'll have seen fan. And the grades are on everything. So grades are on. Have you won in a cup lately? What's, what what's, Where did you finish in the league? Have you got the right, right facilities? Have you got the right finances? Have you got a, a youth system? Have you got everything in place? Bang bang bang. Everything's graded, and then overall you'll come up with a grade. And if you're an A-star team, then to me, you should be playing top flight futsal. What, so what do they do in rugby? So the top flight, so, so rugby, so you've got, I think at the minute you've got seven teams who are A-star, LFC being one of them, and they cannot be relegated. Okay. Until the rest of, so if you want to get promoted, so say there's probably London are gonna go this year because they're the lowest ranked team. They'll get relegated and another team will come in but until, it, it's the force every team's got, do you know what? If we're all their stars, it's like, the, like, right. like the Premier League is, yeah, yeah. if we're all their star, then the lowest team in the league will get relegated. Yeah. If we're not, why do we want a team of that stars coming into our league? So say rugby, I'm guess it would be, I'm guessing like a Halifax, who might have one good season, or get a good crop of maybe yeah. ex-pros, who have one good season, Taking the place of Hull FC, who was the professional outfit with all their yeah. academy. And, yeah. So it's not good for the game. No. And the way to make the game grow is to make sure these good teams are always around. And then, then, then if you've got a academy system, right things, yeah. and see now, the crap, but what Hull FC are doing is bringing in the youth players, the under 18s have got what, three or four now, and they've gone, well, all right, this season's gone, but now this is our chance to bring them in. Yeah. And we can. Because we know we've got that security. Otherwise, these players may or may not get a chance. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but everything has to be in place and the sport grows. Everything's right. Well, I think if you look at all the sports, I think if you look at ice hockey, basketball, netball, rugby, it, not everyone will know a lot about these teams, but if you know, if you know anyone, I'm guessing they're at the top level. So I'm guessing with basketball, there's... 10 franchises, or netball is 10 franchises, and they're the main teams, and it's generally them all the yeah. time. And you won't know the ones underneath, it's all about that elite top league. So I think for us, in futsal, 
what we're saying is, yeah, but anyone could be in any league depending on how good your team yeah. is. It, 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 so how good your seven players are or eight players. Could it, and it's wrong because Genesis could have got to T1 last season and they had two subs against Derby in that last playoff game if they won they went through. Yeah, and, and luckily for them, Mel Becky have gone yeah. and then they've nicked some of their players. Yeah, yeah. So now they're coming up for so the they're, they're a bench of eight players. Half of them didn't play, but they're a bench of eight players. I, I, mean, I, I can say that I, I'm not having a go at them because they looked a very good team. But is it good for our game? Is it going to grow the game? Well, it's proven it hasn't over the last seven years. So what are we doing to... Uh, to me, it should I mean, be. Genesis yeah. do have all the youth teams and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you're, you're tagging them either. Or... No, no, I'm not tagging. It just, no. We just need to. If, if Genesis have got all the youth teams, brilliant. Yeah. What an addition. Yeah. And it, but if they haven't and they're another five or side team, yeah. we don't go back to the National League. We don't. Yeah. Drop it to tier three. So if you go through the teams, you look at it and you say, right, Bolton, you've got. Uh, what have you got? I've got. You've got the first team really good, you've got the second team really good, you've got a women's team, tick, tick, tick. They've all won trophies, tick, or extra points. You've got the youth set up, you've got somewhere to play, you've got finances in. You're not relying on sponsors to back your... You, you can run it and it all works. If the sponsor pulls out, your team don't dis dissolve. Yeah. You're not relying on one thing. So everything's in the tick box, bang. Yeah, you're in a start, you've got, you're in, you've got, the, fran you've got the franchise. Manchester the same, Bloomsbury, I think if they do it right, we've got Derby, I think they're doing it a bit better now. So teams like that, if you've got it, Loughborough, ugh, you've got a uni, great. So you turn over the, every three years, every year you'll get a different influx of players. Great. Have you got out beneath that? No. We just get everyone else's players to come to us and, oh great. Do you get an A-star franchise then? You might be, you might be the best of the rest, so you might get in yeah. until someone else can up their game to take over you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, that's, to me, that's how I do it. Each round, in, have you got everything? First team, you've got one, but you, you're not great, so you might get a point deducted for that. You've got a second team, you haven't got a women's point off. Your finances are amazing. You, you, everything's in place. You run leagues, so that come. Your facilities are spot on. So you're in, a, you're in a club. You're in. Yeah. But until the lower ranked teams can get better. Ratings than you. you. So say we get a C, it's an odd say. So say we've got a rating of C and we're in the league now. If no, if everyone below us have all rated things, they can't come up. Yeah, yeah. Until one of them goes, you know what, I'm up in the game. Yeah, yeah. The, like, the likes of Manchester United have done over the years. Yeah. They've now got everything needed, you're all graded. And like all City are when you, when you have to have certain facilities to get a grading. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you cannot be in this certain division, you cannot do that. Yeah, yeah. Instead of, do you know what? We've just got we've just got six Brazilians come across. They're working here for three years. We're gonna make them the Futsal League and romp it and then and then we'll go home. Yeah. Just alright. Yeah. Great, but it didn't help us. Well yeah, but uh, just going back onto Genesis, they obviously had two players that were a class above. Just mad. Probably everyone on the pitch. It was two I was speaking to Carl and he was like saying they're that quick. <laughs> Made an end play in times really because it was a playing one v one at the back, but the minute he went forward, it was two v one because no one could catch Ribeiro or the other guy, yeah. and suddenly there was it, and they were just breaking, they were just gone, they was gone, and the thing that what everyone else did was, um, what everyone else did, the team was just shore them up, so it was like, well, we've got that threat, we're just going to make sure we don't concede, which was obviously massive influence from the keeper, who I'm sure I've seen him before. Have you seen him before? I don't know if someone touched your drum kit. Did someone touch your drum kit? I think someone did someone touch my drum kit. Yeah, so someone touched your drum kit and he thought, that ball is not going in my net today. He was so angry, wasn't he? Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Take that one, I can't wait. Catalina Wine Mixer. <laughs> I don't know why that kept going to me. Yeah, yeah, but he was, uh, uh, yeah, he, he was, like I say, they're just the full team. Uh, no, yeah, no. they're they they team on. So we we played earlier in the season, didn't we? Yeah, on the pokey court, yeah. <laughs> absolutely trashed us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we weren't ready for that. Yeah, no, we no yeah. Um, and the and the jubilee dispatched us with ease. Yeah, we weren't expecting that, was we? But nah, we we, we got it. <laughs> yeah, massively. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so so yeah, I think that's it. We've got to get across town. I can't think if there's anything else. The only other thing really was the the we had then. 
the NFL chat for the new clubs, didn't we? Uh, we had about 20 clubs by the end. And I've had, <laughs> to be fair, since we finished the call, I've had about three or four. I haven't responded to anyone yet. I need to get back to it. Uh, we've said, oh, we missed the call. We want to get involved and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see now when, yeah, it, when we'll it comes see. to putting the money in. We'll see. Out. We'll see. But yeah, just. Uh, but I think, like I said, the franchise, I know they won't go with it, but. I, I, I'm trying to change football style for the better. I want, I want it to change. I want it to grow. I want everything to be better. Yeah. I'm not sure. It, it's finding that model that works, and we, I think yeah. we all put our hope in the NFS to change everything. It's a brand new start, and this is the way it was going to be. And whether it's the rules like the homegrown or whatever, and this is on one person. I think this is a collective thing from the clubs as well on which venues you choose to play at. Or do you know what I mean? Uh, I just think. I just think, yeah, but whatever we're doing, it's not enough. And unfortunately, I think it needs two things, which I've said to a couple <coughs> of people it needs. The Premier League to take an interest in it. Yeah. And suddenly it's Bolton Wanderers versus Manchester City. Yeah. And they instantly get how many potential yeah. fans to go watch and that. The build, and the build, and the build, share, yeah. and the build, the, the training stadium, the, the little thousand yeah. seat stadium. Or it takes the Eddie Ed of this world to go. I've seen that spot, that's exciting. I'm going to change it and I'm going to spend a million pounds every year or half a million pounds every year improving this spot. But we've got neither. We haven't got the FAs back in, unfortunately. So we, we, we can't. No, because they've got some. We're not. We, we can all do our little bits. We yeah. can all learn. We can all say we should do this, we do that. But unfortunately, it needs a lot of money and we, we, we haven't got it. We, we just, no one's got it. No. Or no one's willing to But we could make a start. We could make a start. We can, make a start. We can do We can all do better. We can all do better, but we're, we're not going to get it to the levels we want to anytime soon unless it's a bang, change the night. Mm. I don't think we. I don't think we can pro- progressively us clubs between us get it to a position where, wow, this looks like Spain or Portugal because at no point is anyone going to be able to afford, like you said, a five thousand seat stadium. Or <laughs> so. So yeah, but we can all we can all do better. We can all do better. But uh, we're in the cup final again. Yeah, did it again. I'm lucky. Yeah. So we'll see if we can we can do a bit better this time for everyone. See if we can win the final this time. Yeah, we'll see. The we really give, give you another game of the year, game of the year contender. Yeah, we'll see. And hopefully, all 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 of us not refing this because you could see the first red card in the final for the coach. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it'll be. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think you will because it, it'll be. Um, to a low rank. I think there's will be a few cup finals on that day, won't they? Yeah, yeah, we'll get yeah, we'll get And there, I don't yeah. think um might get his fan. Yeah. Big, big time. He's he's only big time, so he might do us. Yeah, he might do, yeah. He's only big time. But yeah. but yeah, I think um Well you never know. I'm sure I'll get my uh, come up and tier one next year off these refs and they'll all be yeah. I'll get him, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good one. Yeah. <laughs> good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, sorry if I'm upset anyone again. I'm not really sorry. I love, um, I love how we keep saying about tier one when we're in tier one next year. Four know. points. Four points from three games and we're there. Yeah. Well, is that nil down? Yes. Yeah, right. I'm yes. glad you're like that, that, that cups in. I'm glad you're confident. I'm glad you're confident. Well, I'm sure, mate, if, we're not, if we don't make it, I'm sure someone will put something out there. I'm sure the, um, the draft will come to ascend. Unlucky lads, but yeah. Yeah, right. But yeah, but any yeah, any band you want to put forward to us, please feel free. Feel yeah. free. We're happy to engage in it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So-